Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. Today we're going to talk about uh, preserving broccoli, putting it in storage. Now we're kind of in the middle here, but uh, what we're doing, we're blanching this. Blanch it for three minutes. So just kind of cuts the heads in half. They don't have to be all cut up small, but if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. But uh, once you get your water boiling, I guess I need to say what blanching is. Once you get it boiling, you uh, put it in there for three minutes. That kills the bacteria. And uh, then once you do that, you put it in a tray and then you'll put it in ice water. You want to stop, stop the process. Cool it off. To cool it down. You don't want your buds to uh, stay warm and open up and get soggy and stuff like that. You want it to be uh, fairly crisp still when you put it in the refrigerator, especially if you're growing your own broccoli because it's really tender to start with. So if you overcook it, uh, you'll end up with a problem uh, with it being soggy. We don't want soggy broccoli. So anyway, we'll put it in here just long enough to cool it down. Once it cools down, she'll put it on a tray. And then what she does is let it uh, drain a little bit so we don't have a whole lot of moisture. Uh, we're we're going to end up vacuum packing this. Uh, that's when it's vacuum packed, it, then you uh, store it that way, freeze it. It tastes so much better. It's it's uh, just like it's coming out of the, the garden. But you can see how dark green this is uh, compared to broccoli that you might uh, get frozen in a bag. Because this this is uh, dealt with real quick. We we pick this now. They recommend, and if it's hot, but it's uh, when you pick it to cool it down immediately after you pick it. Uh, what we'll do is a lot of times run it under water. When you pick this, as you can see this head is just starting to yellow and you can see it's got a little movement, it's just a little bit soft. Now you'd much rather have it where it was a little stiffer like this this one, but a lot of times when you're picking a whole lot at one time uh, you end up where you have a, a soft, softer one where these buds are starting to maybe just open. The flavor is great. Uh, you eat this raw, it's, it really tastes good. It's not at all bitter. And uh, broccoli that you uh, pick pick out of your garden, the varieties that you normally grow, or that I grow anyway, they're nice and tender. But anyway, like I say, you, you need to know when to pick it because if you start seeing the, the heads start to yellow after they're done or even sometimes you'll catch a little brown spot in there uh, that's where it's it's opening up to go go to seeds you can see right here on the edge it's getting ready to flower and and you want to catch it before it shoots up those flower tops now that it's all kind of drained most of the water off it what we do is we use a uh, bags, these uh, vacuum bags. Now we like to, to uh, buy them on a roll. That's the cheapest way than buying pre -fill. We do cut our bags a little bit long because we a lot of times we'll wash and reuse them. So, uh, but you know that's that'd be something up to you. But but as far as uh, when you cut the bag, you seal the end of it, and then what you'll put uh, your food whatever you're vacuum packing in it and then we'll go over here to the vacuum pack I hit it already. okay depending on how your vacuum packer is is made uh, now this one is this is a Cabela's uh, it's a commercial grade so it's we've had it for quite a few years it holds up well and it's basically it's automatic whenever you go to to seal it you just set it for whatever thickness of bags you're using uh, 
it'll do everything. Now you do, you have a little tray to catch your liquid here uh, so it doesn't go down into your vacuum pump. Now I set a timer each time I'm finished because uh, it's, they don't recommend sealing faster than every 20 seconds. But anyway, this has got this seal. This will stay in the freezer for years. It's uh, an excellent way to, to uh, take and, and put your uh, your food up as far as to keep it in store. Now we keep our freezer at minus 10, which is uh, really cold, but at that temperature it, it really extends the life of your food as long as it's sealed out and there's no air in it. Uh, you don't have that problem with freezer burn and all those other things. Now you do watch because occasionally you'll get one that doesn't seal good and if it loses its vacuum seal you want to go ahead and eat that one and if you start seeing it frost up in the bag then uh, that's what's happened. But anyway I hope this is uh, helpful on one way to store your crop because like I say broccoli you wouldn't want to put this in a jar and can it. Now you could pickle it and preserve it. That would be another good way but you don't want to uh, can this and then uh, in a jar and heat it up, uh, you know, to to get it sealed because it's going to be really, really mushy whenever it comes out. So then it's not it's not going to be as good as like it is this way. But anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you want to see more of my videos, just hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you'll be notified. Give it a thumbs up and share this video. Happy going.